and uh, Fairuz is on the left of screen facing us for Malaysia Zakri is there just having a little practice serve the uh, at the world's last year in Kuala Lumpur it was actually a huge disappointment that this Malaysian pair lost out and in fact uh, it, they didn't even reach the quarterfinals because at the quarterfinals Z and Go lost out as well so it was a uh, fairly early rounds um, and uh, I know that the Malaysian press were pretty disappointed that they didn't go any further so there is huge pressure all round. We've seen the highs and lows of competition already today. T and Guo, as they're being introduced. We saw T uh, Zongbo has got a, a very, very big, big uh, bandage around the waist. Obviously, some strengthening of the back. The Chinese love to use that, don't they? The, um, An the back awful, supports. awful lot of their players wear that uh, back support, and I think it's more of precaution. I don't think there's a new injury problem. Certainly, oh, that's the, certainly the way he moved in that opening rally didn't <laughs> look to be a problem, did it? Well, he did, it's absolutely. He, uh, he did very well. He left it and won the point. Oh, what a hit from Fairuz. Fairuz is an interesting character. You know, in 2003, he was almost thrown out of the Malaysian squad for bad attitude. <laughs> don't, right. be, don't be put off by his name on the back of his uh, uh, jersey here. It's Fairuz Swan Tazari. Tazari we see there. Already, I'm impressed by this Malaysian duo. They are certainly more aggressive. They're more active. They are, they are definitely more confident playing against this Chinese duo than Ku and Tan were earlier. Yeah. It's good attitude they've come out with, isn't it? 3-1. Yeah, and they pick up another one for 4-1. And do you know what? I also think that the Malaysians believe that they can win it. The crowd are certainly right into it at the moment, and they believe that they can take this Chinese team to a fifth. Great start for Malaysia. Wonderful, wonderful badminton. My goodness. Guo Zhendong controlling the net there beautifully, Jill. Yeah. And I've thought up until now he's been looking a little bit nervous, but that will certainly help settle his nerves. Of course, of the two Chinese players, it's the taller of the two men. Xi Bo, who's got more international experience because he's enjoyed an awful lot of success in the mixed doubles as well. Remember uh, in Anaheim World Championships in 2005, he reached the final of the mixed doubles with Zhang Yawen. And it's those big match experiences that help for occasions like this. A poor leave there could have played it they had a lot of defense going on there but then just they really could have played it and gave up the point at 3-4 Firo's really really over the top of that shuttle a 
Good leave, and T will be disappointed with that. Yes, but I think he was threatened into that area by the movement and aggressive stance at the net from Zachary. The intimidation there, it was yep. very impressive. Ooh. Not afraid to try something which is really, really unexpected. Zachary fails, but it just shows they are prepared to take the risks. Ooh, it's called good. Yeah, it was a correct call by the line judge as well. We've got a perfect position to, <laughs> to see the entire court and we can look straight down that line. Yeah. Great call. Pyros misses a backhand and it goes to 5-6. But there's certainly non-stop action. It started out in exactly the vein that we'd expected. Lots of flat action at the net. Oh, yeah. Once again, it's Zachary and his movement and his threatening stance, the intimidation at the net, and he's hunting the shuttle. And that's what's so impressive. Look at him. He's, he's already moved. He's, he's determined to make a difference at the front of the court. And that's what you need in a doubles partnership. He's there as well. Oh, unlucky. That was so unlucky. But he's living every point. Every single stroke, he's there. He's greedy almost, Jill. Yeah, but I like to see that. Yeah, I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's uh, He just wants to be involved. A little towel down for the moment. You haven't missed anything during that replay. That's even a change of racket there. Well, Chen Dong will serve it. Oh, too much there. Zachary maybe should have tried to take that. Xu Zhong is a, a tall man with a long racket arm very difficult to get it past him at the net and and when he's at that neck position i think he he really does have an influence on the game seven all looking good gee you've got to have played this game hour after hour after hour to get radar like that Extraordinary ability to know where the lines are. It's the big hitting. Zachary this time. 258 kilometers an hour. Not the fastest by any stretch, but great placement as well. Into the body. He's taking that defensive shot too late. He really needs to be reaching the racket arm out in front of him, especially if he wants to guide the shuttle across court.